Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, reportedly refused to wear one item of clothing an expert has revealed. Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, reportedly refused to wear one item of clothing an expert has revealed. Although Meghan and Kate may be able to pick from some of the finest pieces of clothing from around the world, the two royals apparently cannot wear one particular item before 6 p.m. According to Mike Meyer, both Meghan and Kate are not allowed to wear diamonds before 6 p.m. Ms. Meyer told News.co.ho that the two royals do not wear the jewelry in order to not be seen as too flashy. Ms. Meyer added, other jewels are worn pre-6 p.m. Before 6 p.m., you'll see metallics, gemstones, pearls, sapphires. At night, you'll see the diamonds come out, and that's in order to not come across as flashy in your appearance. Meghan and Kate can often be seen wearing more affordable jewelry during the day as they conduct their royal duties. The protocol is also carried out by other members of the royal family as well as the Kate and Meghan. Kate apparently wears reasonably priced accessories such as her £8 accessorized earrings while Meghan also wears affordable Miss Oma rings. Moreover, according to etiquette expert and former butler to Prince Charles, Grand Herald, revealed that tiaras are typically reserved for married members of the royal family. Mr. Harold said, for married ladies, it was a sign of status and would show you were taken and not looking for a husband. For the gentleman, it was a clear sign not to make advances toward the lady in question. The more significant event, the more likely you are to see them wearing diamonds, specifically when there is a reason. In tribute to Prince William's late mother, Kate wore Princess Diana's favorite tiara to a diplomatic ball hosted by the Queen in 2017. Away from the protocol over jewelry, Meghan has been forced to make a devastating decision over her son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Meghan and Harry welcomed Archie to the world earlier last May, after months of media and public anticipation. Since the scandal surrounding the staged paparazzi photos in the lead-up to Meghan's wedding, the pair have yet to see each other since. With her father constantly doing interviews where he has constantly hit out at his daughter, Meghan has made the decision that Archie will never meet his grandfather. A source close to the Sussexes told The Sun, It's a terribly sad situation but Meghan has made the very difficult decision that she doesn't have an active relationship with her father anymore. This was actually a decision she made some time ago and it is something she's now coming to terms with. It's obviously heartbreaking for her but she has to protect herself, her husband and her son. Thomas hasn't met Harry and it's unlikely he'll meet Archie either. Despite the excitement that welcomed Archie's both, Meghan has been forced to shield Archie from some of his extended family. Such has been the strained relationship that Meghan has had with her father, Thomas, that she has made the heartbreaking decision to block him from seeing her grandson. Since Archie's arrival, both Meghan and her son have rarely been with although the Duchess will soon return from maternity leave. The royals might have an enviable jewelry collection, but according to one expert, Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton are only allowed to wear certain jewels in the evening. According to an etiquette expert, members of the royal family only wear diamonds after 6 p.m. to avoid looking flashy. Of course, both Kate and Meghan wear their engagement rings every day, but lavish items are reportedly reserved for special occasions. According to etiquette expert Mike Meyer, while other jewels like pearls and topaz are often worn before 6 p.m., the royals avoid anything too extravagant to avoid looking flashy. Kate is often seen wearing budget-friendly jewelry, such as her £8 accessorized earrings and Meghan has regularly been spotted wearing affordable Miss Ulmer rings. Before 6 p.m., you'll see metallics, gemstones, pearls, and sapphires, Meyer told. At night, you'll see the diamonds come out, and that's in order to not come across as flashy in your appearance. And according to Grant Harold, aka the royal butler, tiaras are typically reserved for married members of the royal family. For married ladies, it was a sign of status and would show you were taken and not looking for a husband.
Grant explained. For the gentleman, it was a clear sign not to make advances toward the lady in question. The more significant event, the more likely you are to see them wearing diamonds, specifically when there is a reason. 